I'm Steve Glass. I'm professor of classics and classical archaeology at Pitzer College, and I have been so since the college opened its doors in the fall of 1964. There are no other founding faculty members still at Pitzer College. There, uh, there are, I think, five of us still alive. I'm a part of antiquity. I'm an artifact. Uh, and uh, I have reached an age where I'm beginning to be an object of professional interest to myself. But I was very young when I began. Founding a new college is a singular experience, but uh, perhaps more singular was the founding of Pitzer College. We had to put a curriculum in place, uh, and we had to have a few basic rules in place. Uh, but outside of that, we made the conscious decision not to determine what has since pompously come to be called the ethos uh, of the college until the students arrived and we could talk it over with them and make them part of that decision. Okay, that immediately put us at odds with most institutions. And so we were alleged to have brought in uh, the counterculture of the 60s all by ourselves. And it wasn't accomplished quickly. Uh, and sometimes the debate was hot, but ultimately we were all equally involved, and we continue that pattern today. When I said that students are involved in every decision, I meant to include and mean to include a decision to hire and to fire uh, faculty members. You cannot believe how troublesome that was to our colleagues at the other colleges. We said to students, you want to come to faculty meetings? and be a part of the proceedings, whoa! Even my most liberal colleagues at my most liberal fellow institutions, their knuckles whitened at that one. You don't want students coming to faculty meeting because they might discover uh, what happens when a group of faculty get together in terms of collective wisdom. Yeah, that was troublemaking on a, on, again, <laughs> on a major level. I sort of enjoyed it. But how are you going to teach students to make decisions of consequence if the only decisions of consequence you give them are what color crepe paper to hang at the formal dances? Boy, is that a dated reference. And so what is really singular about the place, I always claim, is that we trust our students. We have always trusted our students. It's the students that, that constitute the only evidence, the only evidence, that what you're doing was ever of any consequence. And whenever I go to gatherings of alumni, I am always astonished and almost preternaturally pleased at how confident and independent they are. Properly critical, articulate, intelligent, wonderful. They're good. They're good. If I were an extraordinarily wealthy man, I would find out just how much money Pitzer needed to assure that every student that was admitted who required financial aid would get it in full. Otherwise, students who can afford to go here go, uh, and students who can't, they don't go here. Um, and now where is the diversity uh, that you wish to have? Uh, so whenever I give money to Pitzer, it's almost always, and I do annually, it's almost always dedicated to financial aid. June 30th, uh, which is my final uh, day of official employment at Pitzer College, I will be five days short of 76 years old. I will have taught 51 years. The actuarial tables of the males in my family suggest that the remaining time will not be will not be long and that I should spend those years doing things I haven't done so that at the point of last breath so to speak the list of regrets will be as short 
as I could possibly have made them. So I want to read some things I haven't read. I want to see things I haven't seen. I'll even drink some wines I haven't drunk, I suppose. But essentially, uh, no, I want to fill in the blanks. I won't fill them all in, but I'm going to give them a good shot. That's how I'm spending the time remaining. <laughs>